Hello. Okay, so today in this video, we're just gonna chat about our drawer for our kitchen, our bench, our trusty pantry, and what we've done up in this section. Um, it's just the first video of a heap of videos that we're gonna do of the canopy and each thing we've done, the tent, the fridge, all that stuff, so stay tuned. So the first thing we had to consider was when it was all empty and it was fresh um, is the kind of design, the layout we wanted. We knew we wanted the fridge that side, um, so we kind of were then thinking how do we want to set up this kitchen side of things. Um, it didn't take us long to think or to come to the conclusion that we did want one of these and that's the slide out stand up pantry. Um, just super handy, obviously you can stack a lot of stuff in there and that was um, our number one thing. And then again, we needed a big drawer, which is what we've got here. And then this down here is your slide out bench, which we have a table on the other side, but this is just handy for, you know, when you stop um, on the side of the road for lunch or whether you don't want to set up your whole camp and things like that. So um, that was the conclusion we came to. This is what we got. So there's obviously heaps of brands out there that do all the kitchen stuff, the drawers, the pantries and whatever. Um, so it was for us, we just wanted something really good quality. Um, our whole idea behind this canopy is you do it once and we do it right, to an extent. Um, so <clears throat> we just kind of did a bit of research. Um, we looked at quite a different range of brands, uh, local and from um, yeah, all over Australia actually. Um, and we ended up with these guys, AM. I am, I am off road is what they're called. They're on the east coast. Um, Mark and his team make awesome stuff. They're really good quality, like obviously Australian made. Uh, that's what we wanted. Um, light, it's all aluminium stuff. And look, it's not the cheapest. Um, and obviously getting freighted over to WA was also a cost to us. But we knew that the longevity of these kind of products would be really worthwhile in the end. So. Um, yeah, we love it, we can't fault it. All the bearings, all the hinges, um, and all the runners and everything are really good. Everything's like really good quality. It's um, all, you can adjust all the shelves and things. So yeah, we're really stoked with AM Off-Road and now they do a bunch of things like from your canopies to um, trays. I think that, yeah, they do the works now and they even gave us a set of um, mud flaps um, which we run now. So yeah, um, if you haven't checked them out and you're looking for a kitchen setup or a canopy setup, then definitely have have a look at their, their website um, and their Instagram and stuff. It's definitely worthwhile. So this is the pantry. Um, it's not fully stocked at the moment because this is just after a camping trip, but you know, it has all your cans. Heaps of space. Like I said, you can adjust these shelves so we can move them up and down if we need. I've uh, got the jet boil in there, spare container. Um, and then the thing I loved the most about this one was the front space. I think just having this stuff easily accessible and you don't have to pull it out, um, just things you use all the time. So that, that's what really sold it for me. And like I said, yeah, just the quality of the runners and everything. Um, yeah, it's it's been great solid does the job so this is the uh, ooh, a few crumbs there this is the stainless steel bench top um, nice and wide um, and a decent length so we can sit our cooker on here and everything um, it's been good so far a little bit scratched up but that's what it's for the other thing that I desperately wanted was <clears throat> making sure that when you do open up this area, that this drawer didn't then go over and knock all your stuff off. Um, so the fact that this one does this, and then is the full length, is exactly what we wanted. We wanted something that you can just open the drawer um, and get everything out of the drawer, as well as being able to still keep everything on your bench top. So this lid is an addition, so you don't always, doesn't come with it, um, but it also gives you another bench top to use. Obviously you have to lift it up to get in and everything will 
you know, slides to the back. But we have found that having that extra bit of bench space when really all you've got is this and this, if you don't have your table out, super handy. Highly recommend getting that. So if we lift that up, then this is just really where we keep all our kitchen stuff. Um, all our food actually fits in there, so we can just have all our random bits of pieces in here. Um, cups, mugs, plates, whatever. And then we've got a few other like bigger cooking stuff, like your um, camp ovens and a bigger wok fry pan on the other side um, and stuff for the Weber. But this is just mainly stuff that you know we're just going to use for the gas stove and, and yeah, basic stuff. <music> I'm not a carpenter, so hopefully it stays together. Um, but I've just put a shelf up there. Obviously this was a bit of wasted space because we could only stack stuff so it's like a certain height. Um, so we've really just used some brackets to hold up this, this, and then we've just got some brackets around there, a bit of plywood on the back. It's real basic. A um, little bit of a bend in it because Bunnings don't supply you with straight plywood. Um, but yeah, so we've just kind of at the moment, we're just going to store stuff up here. Nothing obviously heavy. Um, and then down the bottom, we've just got our drawer, our stove, chopping boards. And then these are like a work in progress. Um, they're not great. Um, don't know if corrugations are going to unscrew them and rice and uh, glass is going to go everywhere. But look, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's my little DIY. So mounting this kitchen was, it wasn't too bad. It was pretty straightforward. I had a bit of a plan prior to, you know, trying it all. But the, essentially what we've got is a little gap here of about 50 mil. Um, so, and I knew obviously we're gonna have to sit these flush on the edge of the canopy. So I've gone and bought 50 mil by 50 mil tubing, aluminium tubing. I just wanted to keep the weight really low. Um, and then I've kind of just made a frame, as you can see here, a frame at the front. For this one, I haven't done anything at the front because this is where the latch goes for the door. Um, and then we just kind of does the whole thing. And I've just used the holes that were in the existing for the kitchen setup, bolted straight through the aluminum tubing to the bottom of the uh, canopy and then bolted it on super tight lock nuts, <clears throat> rib nuts where I needed to, sealed it all up at the bottom. And when, with all the weight with them pulled out, nothing moves. Um, I've double checked it. The good thing is with the jack off canopy, um, I can get under there and check the bolts and stuff. And so far so good. So yeah, that's our kitchen setup for our camping canopy. We think it's a perfect setup, um, does everything we need. I think it's really good for, you know, long camping trips, long touring, um, and even a trip around Australia. Just a couple of little other things we've done, added this non-slip stuff to there, inside all there, and even in there, and in that drawer, just to help it, you know, things not to slide around as you go. So yeah, thanks for watching. Next week there'll be one on the rooftop tent, so stay tuned for that. Um, Drifter Stockton tent, so great tent, um, and we'll be running you through that. So subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like, whatever, do all that stuff, we're on YouTube. I mean, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Cheers.